Gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back to MGTOW Money, the only MGTOW channel that's dedicated to men that don't want to work until they're dead. Instead, we're interested in financial freedom on this channel. Today, we're going to be discussing moving overseas and more specifically, why you do not want to move overseas, why you should not move overseas. This is sort of in reaction to some comments that I saw. Also, frankly, in reaction or follow-up to a video that I did before about uh, living overseas because I do have some direct experience with it. With that said, though, let me set the table. This, of course, is, in case you didn't know, this is MGTOW 2.0. This is the second wave of MGTOW. This is about actionable, practical ideas on, yes, retiring early, on financial freedom, on how you, my fellow MGTOW brother, can increase your options and choices in life because that's what it's all about. You want to live a rich life and you don't want to be working until you're 70 to do so. With that said, today's topic, why you should not move overseas, why you should be seriously wary, concerned about moving overseas. Let me, though, before I get to that, define what I mean by overseas. I'm talking about moving to a country from your own that is probably a G20 country. I mean a fully developed, fully industrialized country and moving to what I term an overseas country being like a developing country or a third world country. Some examples that I'm sure you're familiar with that guys talk about moving to Thailand, Mexico, Cambodia, Philippines, Malaysia, Ecuador, Colombia, Dominican Republic. All these countries are becoming more and more popular for men from the Western world to move to. However, I'm going to give you some very specific, clear ideas on why you should not do so why you should stay where you are, at least for the time being. Let's start with number one. If you have any, and I stress that, any sort of substance abuse, serious psychological or emotional issue, please do not move overseas. Do not even consider it. You will find overseas zero support. You will probably, obviously, Your family is probably not going to be overseas. You highly unlikely will find any support network overseas in terms of friends around you that are going to help you. And I can assure you that the government couldn't care less about you. You can be laying in the gutter, bleeding to death. And for the most part, in most overseas countries, people will literally walk around you. Yes, there might be a little help here and there, but basically you're on your own. It would be very easy, as I've seen for many men, to simply self-destruct overseas. All your vices, everything, can fully come out, can fully come into bloom, and you can go straight into oblivion, and no one's going to stop you. So if you're on a one-way road to oblivion, then you're right. Then maybe you might want to move overseas. But if you have some idea that if you're going to move overseas and things are going to be better, it's going to be just the opposite. Number two, the second type of guy you should not be moving overseas is the following. And let me be very clear on this. And if you don't ever listen to me about anything else, if you disregard everything I've ever said in every video, please listen carefully to this. Do not, do not under any circumstances move overseas seeking women. Seeking the idea that, hey, I'm going to hook up with this girl. That is a horrible, terrible, I cannot tell you what a bad idea that is. And let me be very, very specific. What you will discover is that the women overseas, surprise, surprise, are biologically and evolutionarily programmed exactly as Western women are. You can't change it. You can't fix it. You can only accept it. You're going to find with women overseas just raw, unfiltered hypergamy, solipsism, Briefold's Law on display in 3D in, 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 in 100 point font. The point is, is that guess what? You're not going to believe this. They're no different overseas. 
The women are just the same overseas as you're going to find in Western countries. Yes, they might put on an act or whatever, but the bottom line is women are women, regardless of the geography, regardless of the culture that they're sitting in, etc. Yes, they, it gets tempered to a certain degree, etc., but the easiest person to fool is yourself. And I have seen this happen to many, many men who self-destruct financially, emotionally, and frankly, ultimately, many commit suicide due to their distress over women. When you're dealing with women overseas, just like hopefully if you're dealing with women in the West, you've got to consider it on a transactional basis, a business transactional basis. She, always remember, that girl overseas, if you take nothing else from what I'm saying here, she has one ultimate goal. That girl overseas has one single driving goal. That is to upgrade her family and upgrade herself in terms of her financial life, her societal standing, etc. It has nothing to do with you gentlemen. This is not personal, but do not move overseas with the idea that you're going to be going after women. And oh, by the way, for the well-known MGTOW who happened to comment that I was somehow suggesting sex tourism when I commented on a video where I simply said men should consider moving overseas because it's cheaper, etc. Brother, you're wrong. I guess evidently you're too ignorant to get out of your box, but I'm not going to go any further than that. Number three, the third guy who does not need to be moving overseas, who should not move overseas, is the guy who has the idea, oh, well, I'm going to move overseas and I'm going to get a job and I'm going to make a lot of money. It is extremely unlikely. Your odds are probably better off to buy a lottery ticket that you're going to move to a developing or third world country and make a lot of money. Yes, if you have some sort of internet business or a portable trade or occupation that you can that you can do overseas, and, and I do accept there is a, a small minority of you that do that, that have that, fantastic. However, this only a, th- th- that's a very small minority. That's far less than 20%. Four out of five of you don't have that ability. So therefore, my point is this. Unless you have a regular, consistent, guaranteed income, you heard that word, regular, consistent, guaranteed income to support a baseline lifestyle, do not move overseas. As the saying goes, earn in the West, spend in the East. Just to give you a quick example uh, from my own experience, years and years ago, I had a job offer to move overseas to a developing country, to the capital city. It was a reasonably, on the relativity scale for this city, an attractive offer. The salary was relatively high, etc. But that salary, the money that they were offering me, plus the comp, plus some incentives that they were giving me, was actually probably about half of what I was earning at that time. And furthermore, I knew my ability to earn even more wasn't going to be there. So I made the choice that I was going to stay in the long run in the West, earn more, and then spend in the East. And ultimately, that's exactly what you should do because ultimately it works out a lot better for you. I can promise you it works out better. Earn your money in the West, spend in the East. Let me finish by saying, gentlemen, We, of course, are building a MGTOW army of financially independent men. Because we're going to move this forward, I need your help. I need you to post this in forums. I need you to share this channel with friends and family. I'm sure you've got some family who are at least sympathetic to MGTOW ideas. Hit the subscribe button now, the like button if you found this useful. Until next time, John Galt out.